G'day crypto goers, today we're going to look at the unboxing of a D3 miner. Uh, note that this is similar to an L3 or an S9 or a T9. Today's example is a D3. Note I've got uh, two boxes here. That first box shown is the power supply. The bigger box is the unit itself. This power cord is something that you are going to have to supply. Uh, it's got three prongs at the front. It's probably a bad image there. And then in Australia, we have three prongs at the other end as well. You'll also need a data cable. Make sure you have this data cable. If not, uh, you won't have any internet connection going to this thing. Uh, you will also have to supply that. And they say the shorter you can get, uh, the better off you are. I'm not sure how much truth is in that. But of course, if you uh, have less cables that you can trip over, less cables that are in your way, less cables that have uh, data going through them, uh, the shortest way between two points is probably the better rather than making a long cable to do so. All right, so we've got, um, first of all, the power supply and Dino's joining us today. He's wondering what's going on. So note the power supply comes in a separate box. This power supply can be used for the D3, the S9, the T9. I, I use this same power supply for, so to take this out of the bag, I simply hold the cable, slip the bag out, pack up all the crap, get rid of that. Dino is now even more excited as you can see. Uh, note you've got a front and a back. This is where you'll put that black cable into that spot there. And you'll have uh, all the power coming, coming out into these little ports. Uh, there are four groups of these ports. The first bunch of cables has is a four ganger. The second one is a four ganger. And the other two are single gangs. Uh, that just means that there's four power out outlets on one group, four power outlets on another, and then two individual ones. They are all in fact identical. Uh, we're about to open this unit, so uh, I always recommend that you low because these machines are worth a lot of money. Uh, here I do it on the floor just because there's nowhere for it to fall, and the camera is sitting here at a better angle, and Dino can join us. Um, when unpacking these, some like to take care of the boxes so they can, uh, Dino's had enough, so they can actually uh, resell these or store them later. Uh, I've kept most of my boxes, and I recommend you do it as well. We have generic uh, paperwork in there that you just pretty much throw away. Grab it by the top, careful that, that doesn't flip open, that's why I put my hand, I put my hand straight underneath it. Uh, get everything out of the way, create space, lay it down, and, and treat this thing with uh, a fair bit of respect. Uh, treat it as if it uh, were a porcelain doll. These things are worth a lot of money. Uh, in saying that, that this D3 I only got for 300 bucks, that's the only reason why I got it. I've got pretty much every other miner except for the D3, so I thought, well... 300 bucks and it was I bought it with crypto that I've mined anyway so this essentially has cost me uh, nothing more than electricity all right so here's a brand new unit they're all pretty generic as in the sense that they look the same they're a metal box this one says D3 at the front uh, note you've got three cards there and then at the front where I'm pointing now is a Linux card this is where you're going to put all the power supplies so 369 and plus the Tenth, the 10th one just there. So you had 10 little power cables in that power supply unit and you're going to put all 10 of those cables in there. Don't forget this one here because if you do the whole unit won't work. That front one, that single one, powers the Linux card which powers everything. In some of my machines uh, you have metal cages at the front and no metal cages at the back uh, but these are serious fans. If you try and replace this at your computer store you don't have a hope in hell. I broke one recently and I had to get on eBay and get this thing shipped in directly from uh, China because they're just so powerful. Don't put your finger anywhere near it, you'll lose your finger. Uh, if you go to a computer store and show them these machines, they'll flip out because they can't believe how powerful they are. Uh, essentially 150 by 150 if you are interested in the measurements. If you get a 150 mil ducting pipe and put that at the back, uh, that will also fit. You'll have to bend it a little bit, but it's okay. I find the 150 mil ducting pipes in Australia and perhaps around the world just clip straight onto the front. Here we have uh, the power supply again. What I recommend is that um, don't hold it as I am there and just put it in. Get everything ready on the floor. That is, lay the power supply unit down and have it in the layout that you would have it when you've got it in the actual mining rig. This is important because you don't have much room in these cables and you want to make sure that each cable uh, is under as, as little pressure as possible or resistance or angles or and as a result you should lay it out as I have just here. Uh, Dino's come to look back at what's going on. Uh, note that there's a high side and a low side if you will. The power cables are at the top not the bottom. What I'm saying there is 
position those cables at the top of the machine. Uh, that way you've got another inch, and every inch matters, to, to put it into that, those cards at the top. And you'll definitely need uh, every millimetre, otherwise you have to prop something under the power supply unit itself, which I don't recommend. You can just put it down like that. So now we have to go through the process of plugging these all in. So when you put these in, what you're really looking for is you want to make sure that, that each one clicks in. You'll be familiar with the clips when you look at it. You can see on the side there's a little clip that will hold on to the port that you're pushing it into. Make sure none of those cables are in the way. You want the whole area to be clear. This is a D3 that you're looking at now, but when you look at, say, the S9, uh, those tape cables that you can see there, there's a lot more and it's a lot busier in there and it's pretty messy. This is good for the video today because you've got pretty good vision of exactly what's going on. You can see that there's three cards, each with three power supplies, uh, three power ports, uh, and there's also the Linux card up the front that we do last. And the first time I did this, I didn't see that little power port at the front. I powered everything up and nothing was happening. I'm thinking, oh, I've been waiting for months for this machine and it's not working, but all it was was just that one at the front. Now see here, we have trouble uh, getting this cable in so you might have to move the cable around a bit um, just within that bunch there here I'm going to feed it through and there you go that gives us a little bit more uh, distance so we can just plug that in there and that's essentially it so now we've got all the cables uh, put in there we can put the power supply next to it it doesn't matter what order you do this in but if you put your data cable in uh, prior to your power supply being put in that's probably the best course of action reason being I've heard legendary stories of people's internet connection going down and then the ASIC miners continue to have power going into them and if they're not if they don't have this outlet of internet processing apparently that can overheat now I don't know if that's true I don't think it's true and the reason I think it's true it's true is heaps of these machines and it happened where that has gone down and it's been going all day and I've just wasted a day's worth of electricity uh, because I've got no data and you know there can be many reasons why your data goes down but what I'm trying to say here is it's more important to have data than it is power. Why? Because if you lose either, you're not going to earn money. But if you lose power, you're not going to lose more money by just burning power. Believe me, there is nothing burning power. Believe me, there is nothing worse than having a rig of 14 ASIC miners coming home, see they're running beautifully, and then check on them, and realise that there's no data going to them. Points to remember, if you'd like to buy one of these machines, do so only from Bitmain. No, I don't work for them or have any affiliation with them. I just know that if you try to go elsewhere, you will more than likely be ripped off. Uh, when you're on the Bitmain site, ensure that you have a secure logon. Make sure it is not a shadow site. The address is bitmain.com. Click on Ant Miner, and you'll essentially have the option of all the ant miners down here. Alright guys, thanks for listening. If you'd like to learn more about these ant miners, check out some of my other videos. You may not have the opportunity to do this because of real estate, electricity, noise, etc. But if you're in the space of crypto, it's good just to have situational awareness of this stuff. Talk to you next time. Happy investing.